Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, I've been messing around with colour palettes in Art Rage 6. Now, I don't think many people are aware that you can actually import your own photographs and JPEGs or whatever into Art Rage and use them in the colour picker like uh, this example here. So that opens up an whole world of opportunities for creating your own palettes and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's get right into it. So as I say, I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, palettes from um, JPEGs. So to do that, I can't do it in this the mode that I'm in now. I usually work in the, uh, let's have a quick look, um, the docking mode. So as you can see here, we go to view, interface mode, docking mode. So I've got, um, got it set up in that. If I click on classic mode, this is the mode that you see um, when you, the, the default mode in ArtRage 6. So if you're using uh, ArtRage 6 straight out of the box, this is what you see. Maybe you might not get this uh, open and maybe the layers. Uh, I've got a lot of other boxes open that were on my, I just nip back to the uh, interface mode, the docking mode. They are, when you revert back to uh, the classic mode, they still all appear. I just happen to have them on another screen, so uh, they're out of the way. So anyway, what am I going to do? I'm going to create a um, color swatch that I want to use with just two classic colors that are, I used to use a lot once upon a time, but not so much these days. So I'm going to take a colour which I think is like ultramarine blue and just paint a blue swatch and then add white to it and then blend those. So I've got a range of um, blues through to white. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a colour which I think is very similar to a burnt sienna. And paint that next to it. In fact, I think that could be a bit redder actually. That's more like it. And then add white to that, the same as before. I don't know why my PC is suddenly bleeping away at me. Mix some more of the uh, darker colour with it. And maybe the same with the blue. And then I'm going to take a palette knife and mix these two colours together. You see we get some nice darks. There we go. So I've created a colour swatch there that I can use for a painting. But how can I use that in Art Rage? Oh, I should have said also that this uh, paper size that I've created is 300 pixels by 300 pixels. And I've also painted it diagonally from top right to bottom left. So it fits in this colour um, wheel down here. So let's just save this image. So. I'm going to um, export the image file, I guess, as a JPEG, and I'm going to call it Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. There we go, and I've already got a folder called Color Palette, so I'm going to save that in there. So I've now created that image. So how do I get it into, into here? We go to view and uh, about three quarters of the way down, we see custom color pickers. Let's click on that. And I already have one uh, already imported. I thought I'd deleted that one. Never mind. that's one I created earlier, but I'm going to import a picker. Uh, first of all, I should say we have favorites. 
we have uh, complements, so complementary colors that are all, these are already ones that are um, available, cool colors and warm colors. But the one I want is photos, and then I can import a picker and um, I can use ultramarine blue, burnt sienna. And then when I select that, it appears magically inside the color picker so now i can use those colors to paint my picture with a limited palette so let's just sort of knock something up really quick i'm going to create a new oh i'll close this down we don't need that anymore i wonder if i can delete that one i can um i'm gonna leave it in actually because it is slightly different. We've got a little bit of yellow in there. Sometimes Art Rage uh, mixes colors in a weird way. This seems to be more um, authentic. So I'll stick with that one. I'm going to create a new painting. Oh, I actually made, I said it was 300 pixels by 300, but we can see here it was actually um, 500 by 500. Let's go to the uh, print size. Let's choose a preset i guess and we'll go uh a4 landscape let's not go too big 300 dots per inch just stick with that canvas well now let's see what canvases we've got um it's basic rough let's have a rough canvas that that'll do let's, let's stick with that click on OK and I've now got a canvas I can paint on I can close this down and I'm gonna to have to work in this um, classic view to use my color picker but here we go so let's sort of um, use a big paintbrush I, I don't know I suppose I'm not used to using this view at all. So I guess we would use uh, presets. Let's just put the presets panel on here. Can I resize it or not? Or is that how it's gonna to have to be? Okay. And I'm gonna go with uh, normal square. Put that back out the way again. Get a bit bigger. Well, it just feels so weird because I'm, I'm just not used to this view at all. These colors, um, a little bit on the warm side, perhaps. You know, I'm just sort of um, just doing something really, really quick. I just want to show you how you can work with a limited palette. And you, obviously, you're not restricted to these two colors. You can use uh, any two colors, three, four, five, six. You can make up a palette of uh, any color you like. You could take a classic painting of say uh, a Turner or a Monet and lift the colors off that and create your own palettes of um, Monet colors. Still sort of a distant. You could even make color swatches of um, real paint swatches that you do you could make uh, you could use watercolor paints or oil color paints make swatches and then import those in lots of ways you could use this phone's bleeping away sorry about that
just using the uh, palette knife to soften that off a little bit. Oh, need a paintbrush, don't I? I can pick dark colours off here, obviously. Put a little tree in there. Some foreground bushes, perhaps. Another tree over here. I'm not worried too much about this painting because it's about I'm just demonstrating the palette really so I guess we could um, put a reflection in make this a um, well that's a nice color why did you find that earlier on Oops. I'm really sort of going a bit crazy getting this done as quick as I can. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like it needs to be done really fast. But uh, it does. Got a slightly different colour in the water, but you know, I'm not bothered about that. Just a demonstration. Because I think if I didn't do a quick painting, I would be cheating you. I think that's the thing. Right, I'm just using a palette knife now to um, put some horizontal blending in. And then when I've done that, I'm gonna go the opposite way. Do some vertical. Maybe bring that down there as well. Um, pick up this color. Let me palette knife. And there we are. That's it. Jobs are good. And how to create your own color palettes uh, to use in the classic mode of Art Rage. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i have lots of videos like this and uh, i would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully i'll, I'll see you all in the next one bye